Elon Musk dropped a bombshell on the entire automotive industry when he revealed that Tesla's new Cybercab will come off the production line at a rate of one new car every five seconds. For reference, Tesla's Model Y, which is built at all four of their factories worldwide, but specifically at their most productive plant, Giga Shanghai in China, rolls off the production line roughly every 30 seconds. That's enough to make the Model Y the best-selling car in China in 2023, 2024, and recently with the new Model Y ramping up to be number one in March 2025. Cybercab is a different beast entirely and will be produced at an astounding six times faster than the Model Y. This is a stark reminder of where the auto industry is headed. Remember that back in 2021, now former Volkswagen CEO Herbert Diess spooked auto workers at the company's German factories, stating that Tesla's new Giga Berlin factory will threaten jobs. What he was worried about at the time was that it takes Volkswagen 30 hours from start to finish to produce a new vehicle on the assembly line, while Tesla's new factory at Giga Berlin could do it in 10 hours. While this doesn't affect how quickly the vehicles roll off the assembly line once it gets going, it certainly affects the factory floor space required and the amount of time that operators and robots need to spend piecing the vehicles together, both contributing directly to vehicle costs. Dies was worried about VW's Wolfsburg plant, which was the largest vehicle production plant in the world by square footage before it was overtaken by Tesla's Giga Texas. But this Wolfsburg plant was hit by chip shortages in 2021, and Dies was criticized for constantly comparing the company to Tesla. Yet Wolfsburg is set to build a new car every 16 seconds across four production lines, and Tesla's Giga Berlin initially targeted a car every 45 seconds, significantly slower. But if Tesla's setting up shop next door was still terrifying for Volkswagen at the time, and an existential crisis, then Elon Musk now has a new product that's a step change faster than even Tesla's own state-of-the-art technology in China. If Volkswagen's largest and most powerful factory was seeing warning signs due to Giga Berlin and increased Model Y production, which is the only vehicle Tesla makes in Germany, then the Cybercab offers a whole new level of pressure on the broader automotive industry. Elon Musk likens the new Cybercab factory at Giga Texas to a high-speed consumer electronics production line rather than the traditional assembly lines seen in other car factories. This is stunning because Tesla's most productive car factory in China produces over half of the company's cars, meaning it outdoes Fremont, Giga Texas, and Giga Berlin combined, and it produces almost a million cars per year. But the new Cybercab production line at Giga Texas is said to be six times faster, 30 seconds per car in China versus five seconds per Cybercab. And so this could cause Tesla's production to skyrocket and provides a clearer path as to how Tesla could achieve 10 or 20 million cars per year as it expands and rolls out this new technology to its other factories worldwide. Previously, investors pushed for more and more gigafactories to be announced and built. But it seems there's a lot of runway for Tesla to drastically increase production with the small number of factories it already has. And before I continue, check out my new stock market-based game, Stock Stacker, at themarketisopen.com. So how exactly is Tesla building a car every five seconds? Their new manufacturing process is called the unbox process because it fundamentally reimagines how a car is assembled, breaking away from the traditional boxed approach of building a vehicle as a single, large enclosed unit that moves along a linear assembly line. The term unboxed reflects the idea of deconstructing the vehicle into separate modular components that are worked on independently before being brought together at the end. Rather than assembling everything into a preformed box, the car's body, from the start, Elon says the new setup doesn't look like a normal car manufacturing line. In traditional automotive manufacturing, pioneered by Henry Ford and refined over decades, for example, the Toyota production system, a car's body is constructed first as a single rectangular frame, essentially a box, 
and maybe a triangular frame for a Cybertruck. This body moves down a conveyor belt where parts like the motor or engine, seats and interior are all added sequentially into and around this enclosed structure. And so this linear process, which has been very effective for over a hundred years, still has some disadvantages, such as limited flexibility. It requires significant factory floor space, and this method can slow down production due to the constraints of working within and around a fixed frame, which helps to explain why it took Volkswagen 30 hours to build a single car, and why it takes Tesla 10 hours to build theirs. Tesla's unboxed process flips this concept on its head. Instead of starting with a fully formed body, the car is broken down into large sub-assemblies, such as the front, rear, sides, and floor, including the battery pack, that are built simultaneously in dedicated areas of the factory. These sub-assemblies are like unboxed pieces of a puzzle, worked on independently by humans and robots with greater access and efficiency. You don't have to work around a large box. Only at the final stage are these pieces brought together to form the complete vehicle. And so this modular, parallel approach eliminates the traditional box that defines the car early in the process, hence the name unboxed, but also replaces the sequential, linear approach, which requires workers to wait until it's their turn before they can start installing their piece into the car, compared to a parallel process where large parts of the vehicle can be worked on simultaneously. Tesla claims that the unboxed process will boost operator density by 44%, allowing better and quicker access to the vehicle, and they are planning to improve space-time efficiency by 30%. By assembling major components separately and in parallel, Tesla reduces the complexity of the assembly line, minimizes wasted movement, and optimizes the use of labor and robots. According to Lars Moravi, VP of Vehicle Engineering at Tesla, he predicted back in 2023 that this new technique could reduce manufacturing costs by 50%. And this efficiency is crucial for Tesla's goal of producing more affordable electric vehicles, like the long-anticipated $25,000 model, which could ultimately be the CyberCab. Elon Musk says that the new production line will move so fast that people can't even get close to it. Castings happen extremely fast, and he even hints at wanting even larger casting machines, like 50,000 tons, perhaps make five cars at the same time, in the same way that they can make toy cars a hundred at a time. But future ambitions aside, this still sounds like a highly automated process that's moving at extreme speeds. You can't even see it. Additionally, simultaneous assembly of modules speeds up production by allowing more work to happen at once, but it also offers greater flexibility. Modules can be adjusted or reconfigured for different vehicle models without overhauling the entire linear production line. This adaptability may be vital as Tesla scales up production and introduces new designs like the robotaxi or next generation vehicles. And so this might be the biggest disruption of all. Not only is Tesla preparing to pump out and flood the market with millions of new affordable cars, but these aren't regular cars. They're all going to be cyber cab robotaxis, meaning they'll be further amplified in the auto market by a five to 10 times increase in utilization. If Tesla makes 3 million robotaxis per year, that may be equivalent to 15 to 30 million cars completely destroying the existing auto industry. Tesla isn't playing games anymore. Elon Musk has predicted numerous times that Tesla will ultimately sell 10 to 20 million cars per year by the end of the decade, that the future is electric, and that the future is autonomous. And he's been ignored and mocked and attacked. But this factory and this vehicle may finally be the game changer industry disruption that Tesla backers have been waiting for something that will quickly and drastically expand the company's global impact of EVs and the highly profitable software-like margins that come with it. And so just as Ford's assembly line revolutionized manufacturing a century ago, Tesla's unbox process could set a new standard for the automotive industry. It challenges conventional methods and positions Tesla to outpace competitors, particularly in the race to make electric vehicles more affordable and accessible. 
There are still many risks, but if successful, it might eventually pressure other automakers to rethink their own processes if they're still operating by then with the capacity to implement such changes. So with a CyberCab production rate at one car every five seconds, how do you see this impacting the traditional automotive industry? Will established automakers be able to adapt quickly enough or will they be left behind? Don't forget to watch my last video on the tariffs and how the trade war is affecting Tesla in North America. Visit our new website, themarketisopen.com. Please hit the like button and subscribe. We would really appreciate that. And a huge shout out to all of our patrons that help to support our channel. Your support helps us to continue to make great content. Thank you guys so much for watching.